you haven't tried the blueberry creamer, it's delicious. All right, hi guys. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new, my name is Mandy and today is Friday and this is usually my grocery haul day. <clears throat> I'm not going grocery shopping today. <laughs> I have a very busy day full of kids stuff and I'm not gonna make it to the grocery store. And I didn't put in a Walmart delivery order either, so this is what we're gonna do. We are gonna have a non-grocery haul where I take um, things out of the pantry and the freezer and possibly the fridge also, and I just make a meal plan with you using what we already have, which is very important because my pantry and freezer are pretty full and I want to use the things, you know, that are down at the bottom that haven't been used in a while. Well, more in my pantry than my freezer because my freezer is constantly rotating. I buy meat when it's on sale and then obviously we use it and then I buy more. So <clears throat> the freezer's being rotated pretty regularly, but okay, I'm gonna pull everything out, put it on the table and I will show you guys what it looks like over there. This is breakfast. I have plenty of stuff for breakfast. I have my little list here with my little fancy pen, the only pen I could find that works. Yeah, okay, kids. Um, I already wrote trash bags, bread, and I need my <laughs> iced coffee because that's essential. So, all right. I have lots of cereal. I just pulled out three boxes. These are completely unopened. Um, I also still have lots of milk. So cereal is kind of a pre-breakfast around here, if you know what I mean. <laughs> My kids will get up on the weekends and have a bowl of cereal and then I will make breakfast and they'll eat breakfast. So um, plenty of that. There isn't very many of these in here, but it's an option for Clayton or, or I um, before work. I also have this roll of Jimmy Dean sausage. I actually have another one of these in the freezer. I have these sausage links. There's a couple of frozen biscuits in here. I was going to make some banana chocolate chip bread. I There's only about five left in here. They ate most of the French toast sticks this week. This box of waffles is unopened. Um, pancake and sausage on a stick. There's still quite a few in there. This is pancake mix. I have these hash brown potatoes. We like to make those on the weekend. I just have some frozen fruit here. It's, um, we like to eat the blueberries as a snack, just frozen blueberries. So that's those, and these kind of just need to be used up or thrown away because they've been in there a long time, and I'm sure they're freezer burnt. So maybe a smoothie. Maybe I'll get some yogurt. And still a lot of eggs. So lots of breakfast stuff. And if I kept digging, I'd probably find more. So all right, there's breakfast. Okay, and I also forgot, I have another box of these um, in my pantry, but these carnation breakfast essentials, the kids like to have those before school also. All right, so I'm getting ready to show you lunch, and I wanted to bring you in my bathroom linen closet and just show you this area because this is where the kids add to their lunch boxes. So... I still have some chips in here, plenty. They'll survive if they don't get a bag of chips. <laughs> still have granola bars. These are the Nature's Bakery Fig Bars and then uh, Nature Valley Crunchy Bars. Oh, and I have Pop-Tarts back there for breakfast also. Um, these breadsticks and cheese and pretzels and cheese. One little fruit snack couple of Rice Krispie treats. So that goes with lunch. Okay, like lunch sides. <laughs> All right, so lunch is a little more 
tricky, I feel like, than breakfast because everybody usually eats something different. So on the weekend, um, I could make these pizzas. I still have all three of these pizzas. Now, let's say I made this Sunday afternoon. Um, Monday, there would be leftovers for someone to take some in their lunch as well. So pizza, someone might make some macaroni and cheese. Um, Caitlin really likes um, chili in her macaroni and cheese, chili mac, so Clayton does too, so that, that's always an option. Um, sometimes Clayton or Caitlin take these mini raviolis in their lunch. I could get some lettuce and make a salad for my lunch. I also like to make up a couple cans of tuna and take some crackers with that. I have condiments back there for sandwiches, just some uh, hamburger, what are those called? Dill chips, mayonnaise, mustard. We have a whole unopened bag of Doritos. We have these kettle chips that we didn't really care for. I need to get some more bread, but we do have some bread. Sandwiches, uh, Wesley usually likes to make a sandwich on the weekend and Clayton's been taking them for his lunch. I have lots of ramen. Now, <clears throat> for myself, usually I'll take leftovers, and so will Clayton, but on a day where there isn't any, I have this um, lean cuisine, and I probably take some of these winter vegetables with it. And I've also been like prepping for a couple of days at a time. So I have this broccoli in my fridge, uh, and I have this heavy whipping cream left over from Easter and I was thinking I could make like a broccoli soup and have that a couple days. So that's it for lunch. Let's move on. Uh, I realized I didn't even look in the meat and cheese drawer in my fridge, but I do have these brats and uh, these jalapeno cheddar sausages. I have hot dogs, I have hot dog buns. I have still cheese cubes and sliced cheese for sandwiches, and this is opened and I think one, used one time, but this big two pound bag of shredded cheese. So there's that also, plenty of food. Okay, so I pulled out things for several meals. I am not meal planning for the weekend necessarily. There are options here for the weekend, but we did just um, purchase a Blackstone griddle and my husband you know, could possibly want to make a recipe on that that I need different ingredients for or maybe he won't and we'll just use what we have here. But lots of options. <clears throat> I still have stuff in the freezer. I still have stuff in the pantry. I still have stuff in the refrigerator and I did add stuff to my list, which I'll go over while I show you the meals. But um, when I bought these ribeye pork chops last week, I ended up going back and getting two more packages. So I have, I think four bags like this in the freezer. So pork chops, definitely one day this week. Um, we'll do an easy side like this, pasta roni. And then I have these French style green beans that I like to cook with a little bit of bacon and some onion. Still have onions left from when we went to Sam's Club and they're still like really fresh. So I'm um, happy about that. We have these ribs, which we, we might do this weekend. We'll see. I just threw some corn on the table. If I do make corn, I'll make two bags, but I have more in the freezer and then we have these baked beans. And I also think that we'll do one of those, um, I can't remember what the brand is, but you know, the, um, sorry, <laughs> the pasta salad with the different colored noodles. It's just a box and you add like oil to it. It has a seasoning and everything. Anyway, I added that to my list for this. Last night we had spaghetti and I made extra sauce so that I could have another quick, like probably a Thursday night meal. Again, something Jessica can throw together if I just don't feel like it, but 
We also have leftover meatballs we can cook in the sauce. And then I have this package of tortellini. I have this whole chicken. We really liked it in the air fryer. So we're gonna do that one day this week. I'm probably gonna get more potatoes because these are getting really soft. But um, we could have potatoes with that. I could put some onion. I could fry the potatoes or or mashed potatoes, something. Some, and I just threw another onion on the table because I have lots of onion and I, I use them all the time. So there's that. I threw these back on the table because if we don't eat them for lunch, it is a really quick dinner, especially with a can of chili. And I found another bag of hot dog buns. So definitely need to eat that up within a couple days. I have the hamburger patties. I will need to get more hamburger buns. I only have four here, but that is definitely a dinner. And we could cook those on the griddle. Um, so let's see. One, pork chops is one. Ribs is two. Chicken is three. Spaghetti with tortellini is four. Um, I don't know. I guess I need at least one more. Oh, the hamburger patties, five. And then, like I said, the weekend, I don't know what we're going to do. Probably definitely the ribs, but along with all of that, I still have this pork loin. I have lots of these little bags of frozen vegetables. Um, oh, I have some, see, I didn't even pull stuff out because I have so much stuff. I have some ground beef. I could use those potatoes and mash them and I could make a um, cottage pie. I think it's called, I call it shepherd's pie, but I know there's people on YouTube that say shepherd's pie has lamb in it. So ground beef, shepherd's pie with the peas and carrots. I just do that with a brown gravy packet and everybody likes it. I have this shrimp. We can make something like that. And then here's more pork chops. So let me just show you my pantry really quick. I'm not going to show everything, but I'll show you what I have for dinners and sides and stuff as well as this. Okay, it's a mess. Um, but anyway, I have these rice aronis. I have all of these pasta aronis, lots of macaroni and cheese. And of course, canned stuff. I have another can of those baked beans. I have chili beans, um, lots of tomato products, you know, for a pasta. What else? I still have those tortillas. We did not make tacos last weekend, so I need to put that back on the meal plan, but it's not going to be this week. I'll check the expiration date on those and do something with them. Yeah, and like I said, like cereal, I still have four of these little containers that have a little bit in them, so we're not even opening those boxes until those are empty. So yeah, now I'm gonna just give you a peek in the freezer. Okay, so I have another bag of green beans, and down here with the meat, oh, that doesn't go there. Um, these are pork chops. This is about a pound and a half of ground beef. So. I still have one of those pork roasts. These are more pork chops. Um, that's like half a pork tenderloin. These are chicken thighs. I could make chicken fried rice. That would be good on the griddle. That's an idea. Actually, I like that idea. Cook up some white rice and it's already prepped and ready to go. And I have that bacon. So, oh, sorry. Lots of frozen vegetables, just lots of stuff still. I still have lots of butter. We are sitting pretty. <laughs> All right, let's make the meal plan now. Just kidding. I wanted to show you guys we also have stuff for dessert because it's a very important meal around here. So I still have about half a box of these fudge bars. I can make some brownies. Um, Someone left these in the workroom at work because 
the box got wet, but the bag is perfectly fine inside, so I could make some lemon bars. Actually, anyone could make those. These were $1.88 at my local store, um, and I stopped in there last night to get Clayton some heartburn medicine and picked up a cookies and cream and vanilla, and I also got a root beer so we could have root beer floats tonight. So there's that. And Jessica made this chocolate chip cookie dough last week, one night um, after dinner. So that's also an option. Okay, so I just wrote everything down on my menu board. This will be April 29th through May 6th. Um, tonight, I think we're gonna do hamburgers for the weekend. I just wrote ribs on here. I don't know what day we'll have it or if we'll even have it, but ribs beans pasta salad monday chicken fried rice tuesday pork chops pastaroni green beans with bacon wednesday the whole chicken in the air fryer with some kind of potatoes and thursday it's my easy meal we'll have the tortellini with meatballs my little list here i need some trash bags bread coffee a bag of salad um I think it's nor nor pasta sides or something like that anyway the pasta salad hamburger buns american cheese i need some green onions for the fried rice and some soy sauce and possibly some egg rolls gonna try to keep it at exactly 35 dollars for walmart because i still have to get clayton's club sodas from safeway and i think there was something else all right, that's going to be it for this video. I am going to put up a video on Sunday um, showing you what I did get this at the store and what I'm going to prep for the week. I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you've not subscribed, please do. And if you haven't left me a comment in the comment box, I would love to chat with you. I hope you guys have a blessed week and I will see you in the next one. Bye.